Hello. Today I'm going to show you how to use page logic to route different people to different pages in your form, depending on the way that they actually answer the questions in the form. So to show you an example, I have a discount request form here. And the first question I ask is what their email is. And the second question is what kind of company they work at. For me, I only want to provide discounts to nonprofits and students in this case. And for nonprofits, I also want to ask an extra question to describe what kind of company they work at. Finally, I have my two ending pages. I have my success page. This is where they actually get verified. And the other one, which is a rejection page. This is if they don't qualify, perhaps if they're a private company or they're not a student. So if I hit this logic button at the bottom right here, you'll notice that it opens up this view, which is called page logic. This is where you'll see the way that the different pages flow into each other right now. So the order that people will see the different pages of your form. The flag indicates the first page of your form. So this is what all users will see when they just start the form. And the arrows will point into the next page that users will see after the, the answer the previous page. So after users answer all the questions on the initial page, right now they're going to see the nonprofit page, the one where we ask about the company, and then they'll see the success page. But this doesn't really match the logic that we wanted to see where only some users will see this nonprofit page and some automatically go to rejection. So if we click on the pluses on all of the pages, you'll notice that you can drag out from the page. If I drop here, I can add new pages if I'd like to build my flow here, or I can drag it to a new page and it'll create a branch to say that I can sometimes go to my nonprofit page and then other times I'll go to this rejection page. And when do I wanna to go to this rejection page? I wanna go there when the person selected on the first page that they work at either a private company or if they work at a, an educational company. So right now what's happening is all users by default will be heading to the nonprofit page. However, if they match any of these conditions that I've set here, for example, they're a private company or they're educational, they'll be sent to this rejection page. So now we're getting a little bit closer, but we're missing uh, the step where we only want to send nonprofits to the nonprofit page and students can automatically go to the success page. So we can do this one of two ways. We can add a branch here and then drag out from the branch and connect to our success page. Now, in this case, what I wanna do is I only want to go directly to success if I'm a student. So I could set up this condition here to say, what kind of company do you work at? And they answered, I'm a student. So that's all well and good. And that works the way that we want it to. But alternatively, we could have also said, we can remove this edge, this connection between the pages and this one as well. And this is a special connection here at the top. This is the default next page. If none of the conditions below match, then you'll be sent to the page that is connected to this little plus here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna connect all pages directly to the success page. And I'll only send to the nonprofit page if they're a nonprofit. So I'll instead edit this condition to now say I'm a nonprofit. So now what's happening is all users will be sent to the success page by default if none of these conditions match. However, this condition says, if I'm a private company or I'm educational, then I get sent to the rejection page. If I'm a nonprofit, then I get sent to this page. So now we're pretty much set. This is our form ready to go. If we try this out in preview mode, let's enter a demo email. And if we select nonprofit, we'll be sent to the nonprofit page. If I select that I'm a student, I'll get my success page and say that I, you know, am able to receive a discount code. However, if I select that I'm a private company, 
it'll tell me that I didn't qualify and I'm not able to receive the discount. That's pretty much all you need to know about page logic. You can add as many branches as you need from any pages. You can remove edges and click to drag them to other pages if you want to. And you can also add new pages directly here in your page logic if you'd like to set it up a bit quicker. So that's pretty much it. And I'm excited to see what you build with your page logic.